Hey fam, it's your girl, Miss Diva Trucker. I'm coming to you today. Um, I'm here in uh, Collinsville, Illinois. Uh, my truck is in the shop again. So what I'm doing is getting it fixed. Yesterday I had a, um, something came on my truck that said engine derate in three hours. So uh, fortunately I made it to the yard just in time before it started its engine derate. So I'm not sure exactly what's going on with it, but it is being checked out. I think they got it fixed, so I'll be leaving tomorrow. So I've been in the hotel for tonight. I mean, for last night and tonight. I'm just glad and thankful that I was able to make it to the yard. So anyway, let me tell you about my weekend, okay? First and foremost, if you have not... Um, ordered your shirts from She Trucking, my girl uh, Sheree Moore. Please do that. She is selling these shirts and she will have them delivered to you ASAP. And it says, Ooh, we, I make trucking look good. Okay, so get your t shirt, go to the website www.shetrucking.com and, and order your shirts. Okay, she can also customize your shirt to whatever it is that you want. Okay, but get uh, go to her website, make sure that you do order her shirt. All right. Anyway, um, I have had a week. Okay. First of all, um, my, I, I had a blown out tire on my, um, drives. I'm over here cooking y'all. So y'all got to bear with me. Um, I had a blown out tire on my drives, so I was able to have somebody come out and change that for me on the road. My air condition was out, so I had to take time to get that fixed. And the situation with the air condition was when they put the engine back in, they didn't put the Freon back in. So that's why my AC wasn't working. So that was like $300 to get fixed at the um, Petro in Memphis. Shout out to y'all because y'all did an excellent and wonderful job. Y'all didn't have me wait. You had me pull right into the bay, worked on it, and I was out of there within three hours. It was just so hot that the, um, it was just so hot that the, uh, that me and Ripley started, you know, getting sick. So I had to get that AC done. So I don't think that's going to be a charge for me because when they uh, put the uh, engine back together, um, it should have been put in there at that time. I had no problems with my AC before then. So um, I think I'm going to be okay on that charge. Okay. Um, also, what else? Now, I also want to talk to you about how to handle problems when you have issues with, you know, your dispatcher at work and things like that. And, you know, um, with your loads and, you know, this was my issue this weekend. Okay. I had got a, um, and then at, wait a minute, after I had the flat tire, how about the next day I went out to go start my vehicle, my truck to go to my delivery and my battery's dead. Okay. So I had to call someone out to get a jump on my battery to get that fixed. Okay. So, um, but I finally made it to my delivery. I mean, they took everything off just when I got there. It was no problem. And I was so glad that, you know, they was really considerate. So um, these are some of the things that had happened to me this weekend was, um, okay, I unloaded and then I got my orders to go over to uh, Marshall, Missouri to pick up a load. Well... Um, I made it to Marshall, Missouri, which was about 80 miles away. And when I got there, I looked at my Qualcomm and I saw that my load was canceled. They actually had me on going to another load, which was like 80 miles from Harrisonville. So, and it was supposed to be picked up at like three o'clock and it was like three o'clock when they sent me the load. So I'm like, oh my goodness, what am I going to do now? I'm over here in Marshall, you know, ready to pick up the load. Now you want me to drive another three hours to go get this load that was supposed to be picked up at three o'clock in the afternoon. You know, I mean, that's just not good planning. And it's an inconvenience for me because I pay for my fuel, so I got to go out my way to go get this load. So it was the weekend, and you know, um, at four o'clock or four thirty or however they do it, 
um, the dispatchers and things go home. So you left left with the weekend dispatcher. Okay. So whenever there's a change in loads and things like that, they're supposed to call you and let you know, Hey, I changed your load on you. You no longer on this load. We need you to go pick up uh, another low is that okay because as a lease operator you know I have to it has to be a good fit for myself as well so you know we're supposed to communicate with each other back and forth to make sure that everybody is on the same page okay so that makes um, you know that I got the request also showing up at the customer and things like that so but it took me an additional 33 hours to get back over to my net my net Illinois okay now the appointment was at 3 o'clock so I didn't get there till like 9 o'clock and um, there was already closed so it wasn't anything that I can do so something like that instead of getting upset about it you know you have to be able to communicate with people to just make it right we are running a business okay this load has to be picked up okay so i could have been like you know what i'm not going to get that it's out my way i'm already over here but we are a team so if they need me to do something i have to be willing to um be able to um to help out and be a team player and but uh, to ke also keep in mind that this is my business so you know if I went out of my way to drive from Harrisonville all the way to Marshall and then back to my net you know you have to compensate me for my time and also for my miles and my fuel that I drove okay so you know I kept that in mind and I went over there and picked up the load so the next morning okay I spent the night at the shipper. The next morning, I went in there and I said, um, hello, my name is uh, Tamara, and I'm here to pick up the load. And the first thing he said was, this load was supposed to be picked up yesterday. And, you know, I could go into a, you know, yeah, it was the dispatcher's fault. They didn't send it to me until this time or that time or whatever. And you know how that is. And, you know, just really throw my company under the bus. Uh, under the bus but I didn't what I did was I went in there with a smile on my face apologized for the situation of the load not being picked up on time and I uh, made the best of it and he said well I'm gonna have to work you in I said no problem you know take your time I do apologize that nobody was here on time to pick up the load but I'm here now we will make sure that we do get this delivered on time and you know keep it moving you always have to be able to um, be professional out here. You know, no matter who whose fault it is, someone has to take ownership. Okay, so even if it, this is my business, if I made a mistake or my company makes a mistake, somebody has to take ownership, and not to just throw the company or anybody else under the bus. It's just that okay, this happened. We apologize for it. You know, we try to make sure that it doesn't happen again. I'm here now. Let's get the load and let's you know keep it moving. Okay, so it's all about your attitude and how. How you project yourself uh, with the customers to make sure at the end of the day especially if they're a great customer you want to make sure that you try to keep that uh, company as a customer okay things happen okay whoever thought it was it happens okay the thing is to try to take ownership take responsibility and make sure we get the load moved and make sure we get it to its destination on time okay that's what professional drivers do so I got loaded everything was you know they was all happy and content at the end of the day got me loaded up right away and then it turned out when he said that he had to get me, you know, fit in. It was like the next, after somebody else pulled out, nobody else was there. So he was like, go ahead and get in the door. Got me loaded within, you know, 15 minutes and I was on my way. Now, the issue that I had was it was so hot in that truck. I had to stop and get my AC fixed because 
you know, we work so hard out there. Ripley was getting sick. I was getting sick. It's not going to benefit anybody if, you know, I'm not well. I'm not able to deliver the load. So whatever I have to do to take care of my health first and to make sure that we okay, that's what I'm going to do. So I just called them and I let them know, hey, you know, I'm going to stop, get this air fixed um, because it's like 90 degrees out here. I'm going to get that done and then we're going to keep it moving. So... After that, I got the load done, went and picked up my next load, okay, and then I uh, was headed back to Warrington. Now, on my way back to Warrington, that's when the um, engine derate. It said engine derate in three hours, okay? I was three hours from the yard, so I didn't put no fuel in. I just... Just kept going, kept going, trying to get to the yard because if it goes into that mode, as I understand it, it um, the truck was slow down. It's something with the DPF, but I just got my DPF cleaned out, filters changed, all that kind of stuff. I got a bill for it. It was like a thousand dollars, but I got that done on the truck, so I'm not exactly sure. It could have been a um, system glitch. Um, but I didn't want to take any chances. So I headed straight to the yard. Um, I got to the yard. It was like 17 minutes before the engine derate, whatever it was going to do. So what I did was I got up here last night, um, uh, which was Sunday night, um, got all my stuff out the truck and, um, checked into the hotel. So we have a hotel here, which is a super A. It ain't, you know, a five-star hotel, but you know, I ain't paying for it. So I can't complain. Okay. This is where we do orientation at. So they had one of the drivers bring me up to the hotel, me and Ripley. I got all my things and y'all in my hotel, you know, I, wherever I go, I try to act like I'm at home. So I'm over here cooking. I got my candle over there. I got my toaster oven over there. So I'm cooking some, uh, baked fish and shrimp uh, with some noodles. I got my toast oven, so I'm cooking that. Um, Ripley's down there playing on the floor. I got my um, printer so I could do my business. I got my printer, my laptop, everything that I need to be okay, all right? So I checked in the hotel, went and got a nice sleep last night, got up this morning to check on the uh, truck, and uh, they said it was going to be ready this afternoon, but don't worry about it. Go ahead and stay another night at the hotel, and then I'll get up tomorrow and be ready to go. So um, the worst thing that, you know, happened is that um, I'm a day down, okay? But I, ha I have to get that truck fixed, make sure that it's okay. I love being in my truck, um, but... It's going to have problems, okay? With a truck that has as many miles on it as my truck is, it's going to have some problems. So the best thing is to get those things fixed, not be discouraged, not be all upset. Uh, just handle the business and keep it moving. So what did I do about my miles? About missing my miles as far as going to a location and the pickup is not ready yet. I got on the phone this morning, I called my dispatcher, I was like, look, hey, I drove this far, which is, you know, like 80 miles this way, and then another 100 miles another way, uh, would you please compensate me for my fuel? No problem, okay? So, I got paid for all that out of route that I was going, the load got picked up. Um, not on time, but it got picked up. It got delivered. I was able to keep myself moving throughout the weekend to make sure that I did my part um, as far as getting the job done, okay? So that's what I wanted to talk to you about. It's like we are all going to have problems out here in trucking. Every day is not going to be a happy-go-lucky day. You're going to have problems with shippers. You're going to have problems with receivers. You're going to have problems with your dispatcher. You're going to have problems with, you know, everyone that you come in contact with. You must, as a business owner, a lease driver, or just being in a company, you have to be a problem solver. You have to be able to come up with solutions. I have people that come over here to LTI all the time, okay? So when they have issues and they have problems, it's like, okay, maybe 
um, um, this has happened. Okay, we can't, we didn't, okay, it happened. So how are we going to do, what are we going to do to resolve it? What are we going to do to make sure that you're okay and to try to not let this situation happen again? So you come up with different solutions so that not only the company is happy, but the driver is happy as well. Because if you don't have any drivers, guess what? You don't have a company, okay? So it's, it's hand in hand. It's a partnership. And you have to be in a place that realize that you are a partner with them. You We're working together, okay? And you can't let people treat you as a... Um, as an employee, if you're trying to run your business, people will only treat you the way you allow to be treated. Okay. So if you don't allow people to treat you in any kind of way, they won't do that. And a lot of it has to do with just being a professional out here. You know, we're all in this to win. Everybody wants to make money. I want to make money. My company wants to make money. Shippers want to make money. Receivers want to make money. Um, everybody wants to make money. And we could only make that money if we work together. Okay. So, um, that's some of the challenges that um that you may come up with and you may have to deal with it and the main thing that you want to do is to not get frustrated not get discouraged not get when a situation happens say look this happened okay my mouth okay somebody got a situation with their mouth um, I only got such and such amount of miles this week okay so you realize that you only got that many miles this week you know every saturday is a new pay week okay so we need to come up with a plan of how it is that i'm gonna make sure that i get the miles that i need to have by the end of next week okay so you have to be able to discuss that and a lot of times people complain and they complain to the people that can't do anything about it. You have to realize what your issue is. Whatever your issue is with that company, you have to discuss your issue with someone that can help you uh, resolve the issue. And a lot of times it's not in the driver's lounge, okay? So we want to complain about this, that, or whatever it is that happened, and we're not taking our complaints and our issues that we have out here to the people that can make a change. Because one thing can happen, okay? If you have an issue or disagreement with dispatchers, um, if you're a lease driver, you should be able, or owner operator, you should be able to switch dispatchers, okay? You should never be able to feel like you're obligated to somebody that disrespects you, okay? Um, I know over here at LTI is not treated well um, with the disrespect, and that's on both ends. That's with drivers, and that's also with dispatchers, okay? We want to be courteous. We want to be professional. We want to make sure that we complete the job in a effective manner okay and being out here and being safe um that's what we want to do and that's the main concern that is the main concern so if you have somebody that is disrespecting you cussing you out and um um just treating you in a manner that you don't feel that you should be talked to or treated you have to speak up you have to say something um you know you have to realize that you are valuable you are important and especially if you are a um, seasoned, uh, safe driver, and you don't have anything on your record. So it's not nothing stopping you from um, being able to work wherever it is that you want to. You know, we make a choice to work at a particular company, okay? Nobody's making us be obligated. So um, with that much power, which that much with the driver has, you are able to have a say, okay? Whether you think so or not, okay? Uh, you are able to have a say. And um, the most thing that drivers we complain of is number one, Money and miles, okay? If our money ain't right, we got to complain. If our miles ain't right, we got to complain, okay? So um, if we can work through that and you can communicate that and people are working to improve to make sure you are where you want to be, that's the best scenario. So um, I'm up here. I was at the hotel. They sent a car up. 
Um, we got a, a like an LTI company car. So uh, one of the drivers came up to the hotel. I was able to go over there to Walmart and come right back, give the car back to him. And I'm just, I'm good. So um, um, I'm just glad that I'm being able to be at a place that I get taken care of and I'm just not left out there, you know, in la la land and nobody cares okay so um what i want to tell y'all is just to if you are having problems you know with your mouths with your money with things on um, your time and you know staying at a ship or a receiver you have to speak up you have to say something and it's not to uh complain with other drivers take your complaint to somebody that can do something about it okay and that's how you get your issues resolved and your problems and situations and things like that okay um i want to thank my dispatcher um brian and david for sending me this nice little letter nice little card for driver's appreciation and it says, Tamara, you are a valuable member of our team, and we are very lucky to have you. We we can always count on you, you to complete your assignments as safely and effectively as we could ever hope. We look forward to... Uh, striving to make you a successful lease operator for years to come so thank you so much for that card we had a wonderful um driver's appreciation week where they gave away refrigerators and playstations and all kinds of things so um other than that y'all don't forget to go to the website of she trucking and order your shirts and uh i'm gonna show you a picture of what um what came on my engine so i don't know if any of y'all ever seen that but that what that's what was on the engine okay so it said that i had three hours to uh Oh my God, y'all, I forgot to tell y'all, I was at the Petro, okay? And how about a man walked in the Petro with a skunk, okay? I'm going to show y'all. That is the man and the skunk, okay? He was really walking around the Petro with a skunk. That is him right there. Girl, he got a skunk as a pet, honey. I ain't never. I ain't never in my life. But other than that, y'all, peace, love, joy, and happiness. Oh, if y'all are ever in South Park, South Park, um, uh, it's a, a casino down there in Memphis, Tennessee. They have plenty of truck parking, okay? So, and it's a safe place. They have security and the police there, okay? So, if you ever down there on Friday night, you got to stop and have the all-you-can-eat seafood with the lobster girl with the lobster honey that is it was everything it was everything so other than that y'all peace love joy and happiness and i will holler at y'all later bye oh y'all want to see some changes to my channels i'm getting on uh, my videos edited they're putting in my taglines they're doing all kinds of descriptions they're just everybody's doing their thing so i hired a couple of what is called my social media managers okay so now i have social media managers so that you will have your questions answered uh your comments won't be rejected won't be neglected and um we just don't be doing it doing it they could do my intros they working on my outros they doing my trailers they doing all kinds of things for me okay so they are optimization is that what they call it they're optimizing all of my stuff okay so you're gonna see some channels uh, uh, some changes so i'm gonna just completely still do me and do what i do but once i upload my stuff it sometimes it will be private until they're able to go in there and do their thing and then once they do their thing to the video then it will be made public okay so they're going to be working and but i do have managers on my page now 
that has taken over Miss Diva's channel, okay? So, um, I'm happy and excited about that. Y'all also going to see a couple of things come out. But um, other than that, y'all, I'll talk to y'all later. Peace, love, joy, and happiness. And y'all have a wonderful and blessed day. Bye.